my grandparents bought the house in 1922 in September, and uh, they raised uh, their family here. Uh, my mother grew up here, my uncle grew up here. I uh, bought the house in the 80s for my parents and uh, had always planned to fix it up. And uh, uh, finally, when I retired about a year and a half ago, I had the time and uh, ability to do it. So. As far as the outside work, we looked for photos of the house, did considerable research to see what we could find uh, of in any indication of what the house looked like. And we've done our best to restore it back to that original look as best as we possibly could. To do a house in the historic district requires a building permit, but also requires the approval of the Heritage Commission. The Independence Heritage Commission uh, works to protect and preserve the heritage of independence by protecting its historic architecture and the built environment. We, we want to work with the property owner and we definitely want to encourage people to reinvest in the community. We want them and encourage them to come in and talk to us so that we can work with them through the entire process. We uh, had a plan and uh, we made a presentation to the Heritage Commission and uh, uh, they were able to, after listening to everything, uh, uh, to approve that plan uh, that, same, uh, that same day. So You have some things that, uh, that uh, are important and, uh, to maintain the character of the neighborhood, but still uh, they're more than happy to work with people. The Heritage Commission, they only look at exterior review changes, so property owner can make it as contemporary as they would like to on the inside of the house but they want to preserve the overall look of the neighborhood. So for instance, in the Truman neighborhood, if it's something that Harry Truman probably would not have seen during his lifetime, then that's something that we would try to avoid. They were very easy to work with, and uh, I think uh, uh, in general, you know, they do a really good job of you know, uh, maintaining the neighborhood, and I think we've been able to do it, and still, you know, uh, looks like a house of its period. I think you can do things, and remain historically accurate and still, uh, you know, have all the modern amenities.